Two more examples of finding cubic roots. Now find the cubic roots of uh, find the roots of the cubic equation 2x cubed minus 7x squared plus 7x minus 2 equals to 0 when we are given that the roots are in G. Okay, so previously what we've seen, we've seen when you know roots are were in certain ratio, when roots were uh, the sum of two roots was something. In this video, we will be looking at what happens when roots are in GP, how to solve it, and what happens when we are given the difference between one of the two roots. Okay, so um, okay, now if your roots are in GP, okay, if if roots are in GP, then Uh, the roots will look like alpha by beta, alpha, alpha beta. Okay, so your roots are in GP. These three are in GP, as you can see that. Okay, there is a GP. Okay, now then what will happen according to the equation? Then. Alpha beta upon beta into alpha into alpha beta. That is alpha q will equal to this by this. So it will equal to minus d by a. Minus d by a which is 2 by 2 which is 1. So that means alpha q equals to one which will imply that alpha equals to one. Now we have to solve for beta. Now what do I know about the sum? I know that alpha by beta plus alpha plus alpha beta equals to seven by two. Okay, seven by two. Okay, that is minus b by minus b by a. Okay, now this sum will equal to, I know that alpha is 1, so this essentially will give me a quadratic in beta, that will be beta square, 2 beta square minus 5 beta plus 2 equals to 0, okay. Now you can just break it up, so then you just factorize it, I'll get two factors which will be beta minus 2 into 2 beta minus 1 that equals to 0 so that implies that beta equals to 2 or beta equals to half okay so hence your roots are half 1 and 2 so this is these are the roots that you will get after solving for beta. So these are the roots that you have. Okay. So that's how you solve when you are given roots are in GP. Now let's look at another example where we are given difference between two roots. Okay. So what they are given, they are given a cubic equation x cubed minus 13x squared plus 15x plus 189 equals to 0. And uh, we are given that what happens to the roots, okay, when one of the roots exceed another by 2? What happens when one root exceeds another by 2? That means the difference between the two roots are 2, um, is 2, okay. So let us assume, let alpha, beta, gamma be the three roots, okay, be the three roots, then what do I know? Assume that the difference between alpha and beta equals to 2 or which means that alpha is essentially beta plus 2. So alpha exceeds beta by 2. Okay. Okay. Now what do we have? We have according to the relationship between the coefficients and roots. We know that alpha plus beta plus gamma equals to According to this equation, it will be minus b by a, it will be minus of minus 13 by 1. So it will be 13 
Okay. And similarly, we know that alpha, beta, gamma equals to minus 1 in lambda. Okay. Now, from these two, now this is, let us mark it as 1, let us mark it as 2, from 1 and 2. From 1 and 2, what do we have? We have that. Now, alpha plus, uh, we can write alpha as beta plus 2. So, beta plus 2 plus beta plus gamma equals to 13. So, that means 2 beta plus gamma equals to 11. 2 beta plus gamma equals to 11. And alpha beta gamma product equals to 1 in 11. Okay, so gamma equals to 11 minus 2 beta. Okay, so what do we get? We get that alpha is alpha equals to beta plus 2 and gamma equals to 11 minus 2 beta. So that this implies that the product alpha beta gamma gamma will look like beta plus 2 beta into 11 minus 2 beta equals to minus 189. So this implies that this implies that just open it up you get 2 beta cube minus 7 beta square minus 22 beta minus 189 equals to 0. So now since beta is the root of the given equation, now since beta is the root of the given equation, okay, Therefore, we have another cubic, we have another cubic, the original one, okay, beta cube minus 13 beta square plus 15 beta plus 189 equals to 0, okay. Now, what we can do, we can just, we can just use these two equations, okay, fourth. Three and four. So from three and four, what do we get? We get that beta cube, beta cube, we can cancel out and we get that 19 beta square minus 52 beta minus 567 equals to zero. And this is a quadratic whose roots will be roots of this quadratic will equal to 7 and minus 81 by 19. Okay, minus 81 by 19. So, beta can be taken as 7. Now, minus 81 by 19 does not satisfy the equation. It does not satisfy the given equation. Therefore, we will take beta as 7. So, what we have? We have that beta is 7, which implies alpha is 9. It also implies that gamma equals to gamma which equals to 11 minus 2 beta will equal to minus 3. Okay. So these are the three roots when we are given our roots in, in, in we were given the difference in between two roots.